Hey everyone, we're back with another customization. This time we're adding icons and trust badges to your cart drawer. You all seem to like both the custom icons on the product page video and also the payment options in the cart drawer video. But you're wondering how to add custom icons into the cart drawer. So this is sort of a combination of those two videos. So today that's what we're going to do. Before we start, I just want to thank you for watching and leaving your suggestions. If you like these tutorials, it would mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe. It helps us keep making tutorials just like this for you. All right, let's take a look at the custom icons. We'll start off by looking at what you get with this customization. If you're using a free Shopify theme like Dawn, when you open your cart drawer, it will look something like this. But now we can add some custom icons and they could look something like this. You can add any icons you want here. You can change their size. If you want to add some text, you can do that too. If you prefer the format to be vertical instead of horizontal, well, you can do that as well. And you can place it where you want. The horizontal format here might look a little bit better if we place it above the cart footer. So if you like what you see and you wanna add this to your store, then the first step is actually to add the dynamic icons first, which we already have a tutorial for. You should be able to click the link that shows up somewhere up here and I'll add it to the description as well. That video essentially lays out how to add the icons section to your store, and it actually already works with the cart page. But the cart drawer is built a little different, which is why I'm making this video. But if you don't wanna to go to that other video, then just stay here. I'll quickly add the code into a fresh new install of Dawn so you can see how it all works. But I'm not really gonna explain what I'm doing. For the full explanation, you're gonna to have to watch the other video. So we just installed a fresh new version of Dawn. So we've got Dawn version 13.0.1. If you're working off of your theme, just make sure to duplicate it uh, so that if anything goes wrong during this process, you can always go back to your old version. So like I said previously, I'm going to quickly work through all the steps of the other dynamic icons video, just so that we can get to the starting point that we need to be at for this video. Uh, but I'm not gonna explain too much for that, just watch that video. So let's get going. We're gonna start off by editing the code and we're going to create a new snippet called icon with text custom. And we're just gonna copy and paste our code into here and save. Next, we're going to go to the main product dot liquid file. And we're going to search for icon with text you can see that right there so right underneath the render create a little bit of space and copy and paste our first section here so we're going to be adding a new block icon with text custom and then we're going to search for it again it's going to take us down to the bottom here where the settings are we're going to come right above that where this comma is and we're going to copy and paste our settings for our custom version and uh, we're gonna add a comma here at the end. Um, just so that's between, uh, there's a comma between these two sections. Okay, and so we're gonna save. And next, we're gonna add a new section. So add a new section there. We're also gonna call this one icon with text custom. And we're just going to uh, remove the existing text in there and then copy and paste our code into there. And that's all the code changes for the previous video. Uh, we also need to add some a meta field and meta object so we can come into our settings, custom data area, and we create a meta object definition. We're going to call this icon with text, and we're going to add our first field. It's going to be single line text. Uh, we'll call this name, and we need to add a expression with it. So. I'm gonna put that expression right there. What this expression means is it can only be uh, letters, numbers, dashes, and underscores. So no spaces, no other special characters. Um, and that's because the code needs this name in order to, uh, to work properly. Um, let's also make this required. Our next field is going to be files and we're going to call this uh, icons and it'll be a list of files. And we're gonna just make this images only. And our final field will be also single line text. We're going to call this one text. Uh, it'll be a list of values. And let's add that and we can save. 
and we can come back out and we can create a product meta field for this as well. We're not gonna use this for this video, but it is an important step of the previous video. So let's just do that quickly. So we're gonna call this uh, icons. We're going, to, we're going to make this type meta object and it will be the icon with text that we just created earlier and we can save. Okay, so that takes us to the end of our previous dynamic icons video. And it's our starting point to add these icons onto our cart page. So if you followed along, awesome. If you skipped ahead to get to this point, well, welcome. We are now going to do our customization and we're gonna start off by uh, going to the cart drawer. Um, okay, so this was the section. We actually wanna open up the snippet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the bottom and we can see that there's this footer section here. And we're also going to see that uh, there's this button. So this is the checkout button. Um, and this is a div that contains it. We're going to go just below this one right here and we're gonna copy and paste our code right there. And then we're going to save. The next step is to open up the settings uh, schema JSON file. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for cart. Um, so near the bottom, you're gonna have all these cart settings. And we're just gonna come after the last one there, add a comma and paste in our settings. And so this is our uh, cart drawer icons settings that we're adding here. And we'll just save. And that's pretty much it. That's the, that's the code changes that we need to do. And the rest is actually adding the icons and, and using the theme editor. So let's open up our theme editor. And we go to the theme settings, cart, and make sure you set it to cart drawer because that's what we're working on. So we have that as a drawer. We can um, see our cart drawer right here. Okay, but if we scroll down a little further, we can see here we have cart drawer icons now. So all of these settings here are what we've just added in uh, through the settings schema.json file. Um, it's not enabled right now, so we can enable it. Um, but if we save and refresh, we're not gonna see anything. And that's because we still need to add some meta object entries and specify our icons. So how do we do that? We can come to our uh, meta objects area and look at our entries for icon with text. So we've got nothing so far. Um, if you did follow the previous video, you would have already had some in here, um, but we're just going to create those now. So we can call this uh, icons cart one. Um, you can name this however you want, but just keep track of the name because what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to also place it right here. So I can actually even do that right now. Icons cart one. Um, but it doesn't exist yet because I actually haven't saved uh, saved this entry yet. So uh, we can select our icons. So I actually have some images already uploaded to our Shopify store. So let me just, um, let's just actually select all of these. Okay, we're done. And we can even rearrange them to be in whichever order we like. So let's say if I wanted to put uh, these ones up here, you can do that, just whatever order you like. So we can save. And now that this entry exists, right? So we've got this here in our meta objects area. Um, this name here can reference this name right there, right? So it has to match. Uh, and so it's our lookup name, right? So now if I saved and refresh and it shows up at the bottom. So now we can look at some of these settings, right? So we've got uh, how many icons per line. So um, this can be used to sort of adjust the spacing that you want to have between your uh, your icons. So if we went for three, for example, it actually is going to break this up into two lines. So it will look maybe not quite what you're looking for. If we made the number higher, though, what we're going to see is that the icons are going to just take up the space um, and not get any smaller. Okay, so let's look at some other settings. Um, we can say bring this back to five. Um, 
we can adjust the padding, right? So we can shift them left and right. Uh, we can adjust the size, right? So if we want to make them bigger, we can do that. Um, but if they're too big, and they might push to the next line, right? So let's go back to four. Um, and then heading size. So if you want to add text to your icons, then you can do that. So let's do that right now. So if I refresh, I've kind of brought them back to smaller size, right? So we've got them to be 4M, five per line. Uh, and you know, these are decent size as trust badges. So if we come back to our meta objects area, we can actually add some text here. And so let's say we've got uh, secure cart, um, secure checkout, track your orders. Um, we've got uh, free returns and free shipping. Okay. So if we refresh, we're going to see that we've got our text there. Now they don't show up the greatest because it's a, there isn't quite enough space for the five here. So in this case, maybe it's better to only have four icons. Um, so you got to plan out how exactly you want them to show up, but let's remove um, one of these icons. And if we refresh, it'll just look a little bit better there, right? It's spaced a little bit better. Your text will show up properly. Um, but the horizontal layout is probably not the best for text. So if you want to add text, maybe the vertical layout is going to work better for you. So let's try that. So we'll save and we can show the vertical layout, right? So that shows up a little bit better, but now it's pretty tall. So the checkout button gets pushed all the way up here. So maybe in this case, we actually want to shift the location of our icons to above the footer. Now, because the cart drawer doesn't have sections and blocks like other pages do, um, we're going to have to do this from the code. Uh, so if we come back to our cart drawer, we place this below the checkout button. Um, so we're just going to take our code. We're going to cut that out and we're going to look for uh, where the cart drawer starts, which is right about here, right? Um, and then, sorry, where the cart footer starts. Um, so we've got a class here and we've also got this class right there. So this is where the cart footer um, starts and this is where the drawer items ends. So we can actually just place it right in between those two. We'll save. And if I refresh, you're gonna see here that it's now above the cart footer um, but below the cart items. And so you can have more items show up here and we can have our trust badges show up here horizontally with the text, if that's how you like it. Um, if you don't like the horizontal format, that's okay, right? You, that, that's why we have all these options. Uh, you can change it back to horizontal um, and you could even remove all the text, right? So let's say the text doesn't make sense for you. You don't want that there. Uh, then we can remove them all and we'll get a little bit more of a compact horizontal icon structure. And so that's the cart drawer method. If you want it on a cart page, you actually don't even need this video. The previous video is good enough for that because you can add it as a section. So if we come to our, uh, to our cart right here, we can actually add a section icon with text custom. And, uh, we can, choose icons cart one, let's say, it'll show up just like that. Um, so this looks pretty large. Uh, so you can adjust certain uh, parameters if you want, right? You can change the icon size, you can change the padding. So you can shift it left, you can shift it right. Um, so you can place it however you like. Uh, just watch out because on the cart page, uh, if you have sort of a different size screen, then the the padding does get adjusted. So this number here is actually a percentage of the of the width. So 
um, just make sure that when you um, when you add any padding that it works for all different screen sizes but because this is a section uh, it's really handy you can actually drag it up you can drag it down you can place it in different spots all right so we've now extended our previous custom icons video so that it works on your cart drawer i think it's a handy little upgrade that does add trust to your page if you found this video helpful like and subscribe it really does help us grow this channel which means that we can keep making these tutorials for you that's it for now and i'll see you in the next one